from both. Vax still has a little bit of utility to get that scout down towards CT, and Fnatic on the retake now. They've got a fair bit of their utility left, a flash as well. Durkin can be going in, and here we go. There's a crossfire. Double stack towards Hell and one towards Graffiti. That's going to be rough to break. I want to see if this new addition of Astra makes a difference. Not so far. Sender just puts them right back to bed, and oh, this crossfire is not breaking. One enemy no. remaining. Beautiful stuff from Vitality there, and again, the timing on the utility. The mid spike should be plunged. I don't think anything can really... Ooh. Oh, we can't it's catch down, him. Down. Oh, so unlucky there. Just see the elbow of the plant. Can't get any damage down. Vitality actually holding pretty close contact. Yeah, Magnum will deal with Jesmond. The rip here. Look at the rap. Give. Look at the rap yeah. from Brands. Look, just keep That's your eyes disgusting. on Brands. Now, this is going to be everything. Now, that wall doesn't scare the life out of me yet. Keep your eyes on Brands because the defuse now is halfway. He needs to get there right here, right now. Otherwise, this one is over. He gets the fight, oh, no. but it's not the defuser. He lets Dirk get away with it. And that's all done. Rather than I feel a huge mistake from him, he just wasn't able yeah. to get yeah. to it. So, quite like that contact mid though. I think it's a great idea. If you still have those SMGs, you're still working with a little less than you know, you'd want, bring it to those close quarters sort of angles. It, it's theoretically a really nice idea. Now, Vitality going to give away the kind of, you know, alarm bells start to ring. Boaster has a little look, but he gets a lot for it, actually. Brown's gone is a big bit of impact. Ma the audio cue as well. The rotation's already come through as well, so going to be in a good position to meet this. Stick will find one, but quickly trade it out. I think now, considering just back it up and... Playing numbers on this retake. They've got Boaster on the flank as well, which is left. great. An extra problem for Vitality. Yeah, he's the eventual safety net right now. Sender actually gets overwhelmed there. I thought he might have been good for a one for one trade. This puts it in Loki's hands, and yeah, overwhelmed. Too many Good angles. Play. You know, nice work running down. And now, keep in mind, I was very impressed with Durker on this site last time around. We got to see him in the open route at this point. We first checked in on this new look team of Fnatic. I was very impressed with the synergy he had. Now Sender, though, really catching him off guard, but Durker's still there keeping this together. Finally, it's Durker again. That's the value he brings. Two big bailout kills to bring this into a 2v1, where Vak is your last man alive for Vitality. 30 HP. Spike not quite to hand. He's trying to be cautious in retrieving. He does get it. And now looks for the 1v2. They're both stacked up towards CT. If he's, he's praying, desperate for one to make a mistake. Give him that first step. He wants to get aggressive on this. Not necessarily a bad choice. If he can get that first pick, oh, now it's game on. Perfect play from Vac. That was the right move to make. He has to try and be the proactive player. Now, let's oh, no. see what he can do. No, he's got the no spike way. down. Booster. Brilliant usage of Astra just to slow him down. No escaping. This is a set piece. This could be super nice. Is there any damage that comes off that? Not so much, but look at the aggression that goes with it. Loki's going to be chipped away at. They need some damage now, but no. Oh, Vitality, no. handle hey. them. That's a problem. That's a lot of rifles now ready to be upgraded. Brams, yeah, he's 5 HP, but he's going to just fly on through. I like the intention. You could see it there with the Astra utility, the pain shell coming on it. it Close on sandbags. He does get cleared, actually. And we are going to see the lockdown invested. They go, okay. okay. They know, maybe they know how much damage they've done across the board, and Boast is feeling himself today. And you can see as to why Fnatic out of nowhere, but Brams left in the 1v1, and time, it's gone. There's nothing more the Boaster can do. A valiant attempt, but Bram... Star being placed at the start of the round. Again, they Vitality can see that. They have to anticipate on which round it's actually users. Yeah, Fnatic actually going to shut... ...doesn't even... Sh oh! My word! Okay, okay, okay. Jessen's further ahead, but Miss Sticks on the case still. Sender's right there. And now the, the Loki crunch lurk. comes in, and Loki's got him. So, safe one with a little bit of buffer, but a 2v3 to work with. So how do they want to approach this? A little bit of utility on either of the players. Send has gone a little bit aggressive. And again, aggression and post plants is great because you have to kind of work down the numbers. That's one. He does. Let's put the second so close. Boaster is nearby this. Investing heavily again into this round. Boaster wants to clear it and does. Now down to the 1v1. Boaster called upon again to try and do some work with this. That utility needs to be used. Clears up the site, but he doesn't. Seekers and the lockdown available for Fnatic if they want to invest it here. Boaster's got to be really careful. Look at this. That's a little bit of a crossfire set up from Sender, but he does get dealt with. He could invest it back. We'll actually dip his toes, find another kill as well. Look at the readjustment from Jesmond. The Seeker's now 2v2 revealed both players. Player standing. Uh -oh. He's got the ult. That's going to be halfway achieved. Oh, the nades are so good. Oh, it's Doma. Perfect. 
He's having none of it. Didn't even need the gun. Um, and it slows it down because that Cypher's a pain in the ass, honestly. Yesmond is just going to be playing this like quite patiently over my doors. Does get caught by Boaster. Very well done there. That opens up the retake now. That's kind of alleviated the pressure on the 3 by B. So now they can start working through. There is the Killjoy investment. Here comes that utility. They're going to... What's all we're sent it once again aggressive in heaven. This time he's gonna double down. Matic now burst back onto site. Three detained off the back of this actually. They have an opportunity to stick the oh, fuse. No. This, 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 how far can they get this? Dirk is on it right now. Boaster doing the best he can, but Vac knows what's in front of him. He has to try and stop this defuse. He's got the chance and he gets the kill. Vac's done maybe just enough now. And Boaster flashed up on the spike, swings over. Vac denies. Huge round from Vac. Gonna be Doma to deal with the initial play. You got back trying to get the attention, but actually he gets the kill. Uh, okay, Brams finds Mystic now. Doma, yeah, Brams. overdone. Brams is just on one, just flies on in, and we're already down to just three standing for Fnatic here. Dirk could try to catch one on the way out, but I've Vitality already starting to spread through this one, creep their way around. The Seekers go out. Magnum did get Brams in that though, so back to the three v three. But none of these kills are coming easily. <laughs> The gravity well will catch Vac in the open. Loki now, no utility left except for that. Cosmic Divide goes up. That's going to protect the Sage Wall. Nothing at all Loki can do here to get back through that. Nasty little combo. <laughs> yeah, really nice combo. That's a wrap yeah, immediately. Everything. Now, it depends how much Jesmond moves to get the idea that there's something wrong here. No one's fought him towards that kind of backside. But, you know, he's already got himself so kind of far into this again like the, the information between these two teams is going to be super weird they've got to have a good idea that there is something weird happening around the back of Boaster now going to be called upon he gets one but the did you know Magnum found another as well Loki no there here we go Vitality now starting to cause problems for this playback through for Fnatic two members remain is Vac and Loki Last player standing. coming up and Vac will fall at the top along Okay, last man standing, a 1v3 in this pistol round and Dirk up. Right back to Fnatic, that's absolutely fine by me. If you start this, you you know, you live by the Bucky or you die by the Bucky. And right now, be Bram's dying by it. Dirk are there going to use that ghost to perfection. Spike going to be going down, and post-plant begins. Oh, that's actually going to be really, really awkward here. Dirk, it will hop up. Find a kill on the back of a Doma, we'll find another Loki now, Bucky in hand, trying to find something, Doma actually will get plucked out of the sky, 22 HP remains though, and a 1v4, matter of time here, or to be honest, whether or not you can do any further damage, the economy of Fnatic, and it look like, I mean even in this range, yeah, <laughs> not going to get much else done, and it's unfortunate that Brams actually switches out to the classic. It's up their sleeve, but a bit of a stack coming out towards A as well for the defending side. They have three players here, and actually Brams going to stick around on this one. Does find Boaster, and Loki did get Doma, so as it stands, advantage does sit with Vitality, but Fnatic are on the site okay. suddenly, and now there's problems are plenty. Connect up. I think Jet slipped on in. Sender, there it is. Okay. So the gun's online, they know where it is. The big boy gun that got taken away into the next Ooh. round. That's a chunk of damage too. Okay, there's still a bit of threat here. Now it's... Oh, but yeah, deals with that again. They tried to convert that damage down onto Magnum. Yeah, I'm wooden box, but... <laughs> load of utility popped out. Rams will find the headshot here. So it brings it to a 3v3. Vac perfectly times that swing and Magnum will get, get shut down. We know he's on 5 HP. Boaster has to show his hand here, but... No. And the four-man stack towards mid for now. Looks towards mid. Dirk has just cracked it open. Brams goes down and now they're just going to hit towards B. Or at least give the idea they're hitting towards B. Utility invested looks extremely similar to the previous round. The fake. Yeah, exactly. That is a huge fake. But Jesmond does at least get one, so he might be able to know that this is not going to be that same B hit. Now, the flag's going to be catched at least for now in the back lines this should be it here there it is and now a 2v3 begins another couple of seconds there and Durka can tuck under window and he almost definitely finds that kill Loki will spy out Doma now you're just going to slow down any advance on his part Agnum actually going to come all the way back around Primary flank, Mystic will find one Loki last man standing in his position was already noted. Magnum there to greet him. Banana Massacre coming out, double flash on either side, and everyone's blind, but it's Sender who dies. Fnatic 
just going to keep bullying their way through this if they can. Back though up for the fight. Going to put his flash. They're just trading oh utility, man. Word. This is brutal. They've seen it and all as well. And he's going to get sucked. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, don't be mean to us, all right? We we pretend we have big egos, but we're very sensitive. Um, and as might be the players double stack towards Garage right now, they're not oh. feeling so good. Please put them down. Oh, just let them get away. But the flank, Brams, another opportunity. This, the last time it was, oh, he's taken on the first. Just misses him. Nightmare, the timing. If he just oh, maybe lurked out a little longer, played with a couple more seconds, he could have had something with it for the timing, and it would have potentially held them up. You can see 3k on two of the players there, so that could have been a potential issue if, if another had been lost and they were all forced back in. But yeah, I mean, back. And then, uh, was it Sendra on Long who just turns around and just like, oh, look at that! The double dip! Are you kidding me? Inhuman reactions. <laughs> you can see a Hiko spam at some point in the next uh, three minutes, I'm sure in this game because yeah. he's been trying to find oh no 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 no, oh, no 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 we don't do that we don't do these things we don't go walking around potential choke points with a bit of a flash in our hands do we cost you your life and now at a 4v4 missing getting way further ahead than i thought yeah. he might be this is yeah. getting a little weird for fanatic oh. hey durka just got found through, through the smoke in mid both strats got a good did timing the here i don't think they did, they did. Oh, Boaster's on for a massive moment here, and he will play this one right. That's going to be two spot. A great discipline from Boaster. Uh oh, oh don't, no. don't, don't, don't whiff it. Nice, oh, Boaster. Oh, God. For now, we do have a double piece towards middle. Now, that's huge work from Sender. The timing was sublime. The adjustment on position two couldn't have been better, and now there's problems are plenty starting to appear. Yeah, there's Fnatic straight away going to hit this rotate, but... Look at the minimap here. There's already three members of Vitality ready to greet them. Just missing the timing. The end of lane, but they have full side control right now. So I was going to say it relies on Fnatic finding an entry, and they do just that. Back will fall early on. Still a bit of room to work with here. Where's that spike left. plant? Oh, Sender. So far, Sender's found Durka, though. And now 3v. Nothing. None. Okay. <laughs> that. It's my bad for looking at the UI. My bad. I suppose you show no presence on A like this, and. There's nothing oh, coming through mid with obviously that wall in tube. There's just there's so few options really for for Vitality to come through and clear. You almost know exactly what's coming. One for one trade will open things up though. Yeah, positions now pretty much noted. Spike now being heard on the plant. Boaster's going to be getting that down. Back looking like he wants to try and instigate this kind of playback through. Does catch a glimpse of Boaster as he backs away, but didn't get a shot through on it. So. With all these bulldogs and the ability to find ranged fights, they haven't really had a chance to do it. The invested round here, of course, from Fnatic, so they could really do with this one landing, and a mad dash comes out for Durka. Huge work right back on in. Sender, that low sense, it ain't working today, is Durka. <laughs> Come, Bolt. Fnatic now will be able to get a clean plant away. It's a matter of Oh, Ooh, okay. Um, oh, no. Okay, 13 HP now. <laughs> Don't. Does actually slip past the nap? That's huge. That's, a That's bit of a huge. Problem. Okay. Oh, okay, now it's not so huge. <laughs> it happens to the best of us, don't worry. Back. One enemy How did, did he just get a second chance oh, at that? Should run. There, there really should be. This what is, is going on, is... Hypoc? I feel weird. Yeah. I don't really understand what's going on. What? I don't know I've got time on it, but no, just this whole round. Odd. I think there's a chance. Yeah, it's uh, let's get spammed off that angle. Loki actually gonna hold the line though, but does get traded out by Doma. Actually, kills coming through on both sides, but now Vitality find themselves in a 2v3. Durka 1 HP behind enemy lines. Mystic down to 17 HP as well, actually, and no left. possibility of the heal. Sender actually gonna send out. Ooh. The res here, Mystic solo challenges onto it. Will get dealt with. Vat catches a headshot, but will not fall just yet. And now it's down to the man with one HP. Come on, come in. Durka does fine back, and here we go. So this is where it gets a little bit worrying, as Loki is now the only one standing. 
Ow! He's got the opoly, so uh, it might j just back away. Get that tiny knife up on out of here. All right, just... Magnum's still looking for that next step in, and Magnum's going to bail it out. And there, it may have been a one-and-done spot initially, but nicely bailed out by Mystic. But Sender, the one double down on this was filthy. What is going on? How is this now a 2v1? Doma, please, stop letting this, stop letting this madness go down. And now this is a sketchy situation. Temple is left, and Sender's low HP, looking to try and back around 20 HP he's always got left. And hey, Sheriffy, Sheriff, and Sender batters him out of there. I don't think he's got time. I, I think, think he's think actually so missed either. that by like 0.2 of a second. Clutch. Vitality just seemed to have such a oh, an nice. inability to to read it. Magnum will find Mac. Uh, sorry, back there. The creep towards gate. That first pick's huge. They, they should explode on this now. Yeah, there it is. Already Dirk is going to start taking space. You can see that lean back a little bit more passive now. They've lost so much control and that little bit of an angle that Magnum was just playing with there just instantly finds the first. Great work from Dirk. Is so aware of the angles he's got to play with here. Spike now planted. This is a very controlled round. Vitality getting a little proactive in this round. And actually look at the double dip going right back into this. Now... That's huge. Loki with two played that so, so well. Dirk does get the trade, though. That's important. But Sender now pushing up as well. Vitality doubling down on the aggression. They don't let the fight back in, and Vac is right there. Gorgeous one board with this as well. Bram's there, ready to swing on the left side. That's be why he does get the one for one trade, forcing Vac to fight. But Magnum out of nowhere. Vac, Sender go down, and now you can see the problem beginning to mount for Vitality. Loki trying to just commit to that angle, try and lock one down, but it does mean he's a little vulnerable to Magnum here, and that's a sharp shot from him. As Jesmond now called upon to deliver, trying to play within these nine seconds to remain. He does catch Boaster during this. Now a 1v1 with him, and Magnum is chasing! Standing ahead. One enemy remaining. And... It does seem as though Boston not being noted. Brams backs away. Now the double peak and Brams nice. on the drive by. Lovely work. Sweet. Yeah, that's Vitality. so nice. Oh, the bait is perfect. Yeah, Vax just gets played in and he can dismiss away. It's so dirty to try and play with. Vax going to keep being a presence, keep being a nuisance. Brams on the back lines. Can't find a way in, but Magnum trying to do the best he can to clear out that close sight angle. Brams though going to dive on in. Ultimate invested on both sides here. Why not? you got to use it or you'll lose it. Sender going to make Magnum lose life, leaving just two now with Fnatic. Mystic and Boaster have to find ways through this, but look at the position they are in. That's massive work. Mystic going to find Sender off the back of that brilliant play from Boaster. And now a 2v3. This is doable. It's just not easy. But if Loki gives Boaster another chance, you're going to see this. Knows that Jesmond actually finds that through. How? I have no idea. 13 seconds, Spike needs to go down. You see Jesmond closing in, spams away, and Brams round the back. Really deny too much. I, I quite like the usage of uh, Viper in this regard. Very uh, well-equipped in utility to be able to kind of clear some of these angles. And look at this triple stack face towards deep CT. This is very unorthodox. And it's actually not worked out so well for Vitality this time. Fnatic trading effectively in, leaving Vac to be called upon. Kind of baited through on the corner, but the damage on the swing! Fnatic just playing as a pack animal here, and look at it, just down to 2 HP on Loki. And yep. I don't mind the intention, but he's done for. Yep, gonna find a consolation, oh, but... 1 HP. Yep, can't. This, gotta be careful with it though. Spike now gonna be planted, safety of the wall comes in. Durka has a little look, but uh, so far so good oh, for Fnatic. No. Big shutdown here, Vitality falling Last in numbers now. Yeah, and Jesmond's utility actually all invested already. We'll find one headshot, but... Yeah, not really falling for this, but they have fallen for at least the Sheriff. Sender going to connect towards Boaster. Fnatic are substantially better geared, though. Keep that in mind. Even with the sectors still up, but this is where problems can mount. You don't want to lose to an eco do Oh, no. Okay, and now a 2v2. The Spectre's left alive, and now this is where the mayhem really does come around it, and Loki's found another good trade for Mystic, but now the 1v1, and timing is everything. He's done so, so well. Now, Mystic <laughs> through the utility, and Brams wants in on that. Doesn't go so well. Boaster. Just waits patiently on the other side. Oh, Durka just delivering knives from afar. Just oh, handing out free left. haircuts. It's been a long lockdown. Why not? What a kind guy. And this is all falling to pieces. Loki is now in a 1v4. Spike may as well be in Narnia. At the Look at this setup from Fnatic. 
Dirk is going to hop up. He's oh. on top of the wall. Vac will fall early on. That's the geeky fanatic we love hey. to see. Fanatic manager here, please delete this. All right, get that out of here. We're not allowing that sort of, you know, nastiness on stream. I absolutely love it. But Vitality aren't out of this by any means. They're still trying to push their way forward. And with back doing that, it's very much game on. Boaster with a really good trade. And Magnum's positioning is superb. But now what do they do? In this moment, do those protocols come into play? Vitality going to try and get that plant down now as we speak. Loki straight through the wall, but there's the trade again. It's traded again? Always is there for the trade every single time. Oh, no. Magnum does get pinged, but he manages to actually escape the damage there. Desmond will find the first. Magnum will find his third on the round by 30 HP, 1v1. Versus Loki creeps around the backside. They have to keep them entertained, though. They can't sit there and let this go. Oh, Desmond, that's massive. Opportunity was calling. Now he gets one, but they still have to clear this crossfire in Durka. Durka, that's going to be one. No, great work from Jesmond. Instantaneous support comes in. The other two are a mile away, and you've got to say Jesmond's going to know that he was able to clear through middle. Yeah, really, if you stick a Magnum... Do look like they're going to go for it. It's, it's Jesmin really to hold first contact. He's tucked all the way under towards the spawn and actually immediately going to get cleared. There's there's no counter peak. Nobody in position to trade that kill. So brings it to a 2v2 here. Trying to bait on the spike and no one's taking the bait. There we go. There's a trade again. Comes out down to the 1v1. Mystic against Sender time. It's starting to be ripped away and Mystic just trying to play this one oh. to the very end and just gives him the fade away. Jesmond had, but Boaster's going to have a little bit of peek. He gets a lot of information. The re-peek would be potentially his death, but it was joined in with the Aldrin and the peek off the back. And now you can see Sender trying to catch on rotation again. Oh. Yes, desperation hits, but actually, Fnatic still find two back. Brams! Finds Durka and Doma and Vitality again, clutching onto the smallest of margins, but I love this switch up. This little pace change. This is a gorgeous throw in, but it's not over just yet. They're not out of the woods just yeah, yet. Fnatic still very much alive and kicking this, and Boaster wants in. He wants the way through. He's going to find it on towards Brams. And now, Loki, you've got to get this one. He's just the Diffuse. Off. Mystic's going to stick this. He's not getting off this spike Diffuse by any means. And the spray doesn't find him. D Vitality about to burst, though. They're, they're so happy to take these kind of almost arrogant fights and it works Brams just breaks down Durka and now the site's starting to be garnered the control's starting to build Aldrone gone quick switch up towards the connector side and Brams again doubles down but Magnum not ever too far away but this is Vitality looking round Magnum and Boaster might need to back from this because nothing else wow. is coming through here that is a systematic shutdown off the back of some hyper aggressive plays from Brams really as well Lockdown gets invested in Fnatic aren't in a position to kind of solidify around it. That recon gonna force Boaster away, but it doesn't actually ping him. Vax still swings and at that range. Okay. But good ability to kind of slow it down a bit for but Vitality there and then still hit the site. I'm gonna say it though, look at it. If Vitality win this round, mm -hmm. it comes to a terrible, terrible financial position for Fnatic. And I gotta say it, they overinvested in that. They have the rev. Of course, Mystic will be holding back sight. You've got Magnum towards the mid. Bram's kind of his opposite number in that. But Dome has broken through. He's found Jesmond on the flank, and that now opens up a bit of a. Uh, a less than ideal position in the fact that your back is now not being watched. And Big Mystic kill. just found Brams. They are slowly chipping away at them. This could be it. This could be the nail in the coffin. You've got Sender and Loki left. So they've got to make this count. Mystic feeling a little pinned, but Loki in a worse scenario. Big swing from both players, counting it down on that one. And now Sender. Very small window to find this 2v2, and already Durka coming across. It's going to be really difficult for them now. They've got to find kills. They have to find something. Doma will shut down. Sender, Durka. 